Good evening, I am Sibelle Nur Akhand. This is my circuit in Proteus. It's a fire alarm system. This is the Arduino Uno. This is the virtual terminal. This is the COM physical interface module. We have two LED lights, red and green, two resistors, a servo motor, a gas sensor, and a flame sensor. So at first, the flame sensor and gas sensor are both turned to zero. Let's see what happens when we run this. No fire. Since the flame sensor and gas sensor are both zero, there is no fire and the LED green light is on. Now if I set the flame sensor to one, the sounder makes a sound, the servo motor rotates 180 degrees and the LED red light turns on, which means there is fire. If I turn the gas sensor to 1 as well, the LED red light is still on and the fire alarm is on, which means that there is fire. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ziad Hassan Reza and here I'm going to explain the Arduino code. Uh, so first, we're defining the Arduino pins. We have red LED, green LED, buzzer, smoke sensor and flame sensor. In the void setup, uh, we're setting up the flame sensor and smoke sensor as inputs and red LED, green LED and buzzer as outputs. And then in the void loop, we are using int f result to read flame sensor values and s result to read smoke sensor values. And then here we are printing flame value and smoke value. And if either of the values are high, we will print fire alarm on and the red LED will be turned on. The green LED will be turned off and the buzzer will be turned on and the servo motor will rotate 180 degrees. And if neither of the values are high then we will print no fire. The red LED will be turned off, the green LED will be turned on and the buzzer will also be turned off. And if we simulate it in Proteus, here we can see that the flame sensor is turned on so the flame value is 1 and smoke value is 0 uh, so the red LED is turned on and the buzzer is also buzzing thank you very much hello everyone I'm Mohammad Zubar Ahmed Fahim and in this part of the video I'll be explaining the graphical user interface of our project in lab view we have used two LEDs here which will represent the value sent from the flame sensor and the smoke sensor. If any of the LEDs receive a logical high value, then this LED will turn on and so will the fire indicator which will turn red. We have also used two other uh, indicators and a web chart and a table to represent these values. Now let's run our project and see what happens. As you can see, we're only receiving date and time here since we haven't run the Proteus part yet. Now let's run the Proteus part as well. So we're uh, sending 00, 0 from the two sensors and let's see what happens in lab view. So you can, as you can see, we're receiving 00, 0 here. So none of the LEDs lighted up. Now let's change the value from Proteus. So we have made the value of flame sensor to be one, which means uh, some flame is present. So the fire indicator turned red and the, so the flame LED also turned on. Now let's change the uh, smoke sensors value as well. So we have made the smoke sensors value to be one. And as you can see, the smoke uh, LED also lighted up. Now let's move on to the block diagram of our project. We have used a simple well, concept here. So uh, these two, two uh, string readers uh, obviously read uh, the smoke value and the flame value here. And then we pass these values to uh, a converter which converted the, the strings to a number. And then we used a comparator to check if this value is equal to one or not. If it's equal to one, then it's passed on to the flame flame uh, LED which will uh, turn on the flame LED and the same thing happens in the smoke LED as well and then we pass these values into an OR gate right? which means if any of the value either the flame or the smoke is one then this fire indicator will turn on and we have also fed this value into a smoke indicator and a smoke chart and 
at last we have sent all these values the flame and the smoke values into an array and also passed the date and time here and well that's uh of uh, that's a complete overview of our project hope you liked it thank you